Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 60. Um, last time, we completely screwed everything up. <laughs> and today, I think I'm going to undo most of that work. Um, I really don't think we need to have our cube um, all goofy like this. Um, we can just put our camera at a normal angle. <clears throat> And I think that that's probably um, the best option here. So here's our main camera. And so I believe that this is part of the problem. Start target. Um, each start target is going to need its own data, I believe. And this camera offset direction bit, um, I don't know how much I trust that. Calculate camera offset direction. OK, so this is the offset transform. And what do you look like, camera offset transform? So we've got forward, we've got up. So that's this way and this way. And so we're doing this, we're essentially <clears throat> averaging them and normalizing. <laughs> Why are we not Yeah, that's the problem here. It's that our <clears throat> if we're trying to use this for multiple different uh, behaviors, things are going to start to get a little bit messy. I could, in theory, this is a little bit gross. Oh. Y is rotated 225. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Yeah, I was in global. Yeah, the local one is what we want. That's right. So that's actually putting our, we're averaging the yellow and blue, pushing ourselves out this far. <clears throat> so in theory, We could rate, make a component. No. I could, in theory, move this out, right? Camera offset transform. Zero and then negative 225. No, that's not what I want. So if this was my camera offset transform, it's not really. Like, why am I even doing this? Oh, I think I need the transform for spinning stuff around. 
right? Camera target position, then we tell it to look at using the offset transform up. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what if we just do this? How is this going to look? So it did take, yeah, it took this and then spun it up like that. So what if I, let's do a 45 degree rotation here. A little bit backwards. Um, 145, no, 180 minus 45 is negative 135. So now everything's backwards, but... I'm okay with that. And that's our main menu inputs. Oh, Jesus. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't even know what was happening there. Oh boy. Let's uh, swap these. Okay. Uh, we just need to swap our line draw. Don't need that project anymore for now. Oops. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Direction dot. Maybe just negate that vector there? Hmm, I wonder if that would work. Yep. Yep, that did it just fine. Okay, so our... Um, our camera's working again. And our camera offset transform is... Like in the world. And we'll do a camera offset transform here, tag you. And so in our camera controller, we're also going to need to be able to find the start target.
Oh dear. Since we're loading a level additively, that could cause us some issues. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Let's not worry about that for now. Um, start target is our main cube. And we'll make a private function I believe this will return a game object array. <laughs> Find objects with tag, start target. And we'll log an error saying too many or too few start targets in scene. No need for an exclamation point there. <clears throat> and we want the transform of that bad boy. And I believe we will want a public function. For begin level. Did I create a unity action for this? No, I did not. Okay. You know, it might actually be good to have a level script. Um, here's our direction. Oh, geez, are we going to need to recalculate all of these? No, I don't think we will need to. This is a member variable, and it will change. Begin <clears throat> level. Calculate cube, rotate, direction, transform. Oh, um, that's another thing that we need to do. We need to um, we need to find the camera offset transform. Hmm. Let's rename this. Find oops. Find object. Find tagged object. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, maybe we, this this could return a transform. Too many or too few. Hmm. 
note. And then the camera offset transform, find tagged object at startup level. This means we need to go to our level scene. Definitely save. Or level objects, camera offset transform, you're out of there. And then begin cube, you are our start target. I don't think I ever made a unique, did I? Oh, hey. Oh, no. This is just target. Um, I can kill... Start target. Um, I believe I don't need to serialize this anymore. Hey, there we go. Excellent. And so here we need to load the next level. Um, so I believe that we're going to want a text document here. I don't think there's an easy way to do that. I'll just do it through this. Okay, so um, each scene should have core level objects. It should have a tagged camera offset transform and a tagged start target. Core level objects needs to be unique. Let's write that quickly. Did I ever make that unique script and just never do anything with it? I did. Um, do, 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 unique. Mm -mm. So let's have a string unique ID <clears throat> and then in awake we will Find everything with the unique tag. Find objects of type unique. Oops. Guess we'll need a mutator here or an accessor. <clears throat> if 
Oh, wait, no, 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 this is private. I'm within the same class. That always trips me up. Oh. Uh, found duplicate unique destroying newest. Prefabs, core level objects, you no longer have a camera offset transform. And you, let's do it here. There we go. And let's go back to our scene. Make sure our level 01, definitely save. Uh-oh. Um, this might break stuff. Let's see what happens. Prefabs. I might even want to change this to um, core game objects and then have a separate thing for core level objects. That seems like not a bad idea. But let's just see. First of all, does it work from here? Okay. Oh. Lol. Wait, what? What? Found duplicate unique. What's going on here? It destroyed our core level objects. Oh, um, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't check against myself, did I? Womp womp. There we go. That's very important. <laughs> okay. Things seem to be, oh. Variable camera offset transform of cube controller. So our cube controller is going to need to find this too. Um, and we'll make a note, a list here, classes that need to refine objects on level swap, cube controller, camera controller. Camera offset transform.
You know, that code is actually exactly the same. Where did I write that code? Camera controller. Could make this static, right? Yeah. But that means it shouldn't belong in the camera controller. Um, Definitely don't want to copy paste this. Um, and camera offset transform is equal to camera controller. Public and this is fine tagged this makes sense actually it should be in the camera controller I don't know I don't know We'll let it be for now. Did I call begin level? Yes, I did. Excellent. Things are looking solid. Um, <laughs> who's in charge of that? Cube manager can spawn. And this is going to need to find the start node. But my begin cube up face, our start node is only called start path node. That's actually what we need for our pathing. So we might need something different here, <clears throat> a different solution. I could drop another script on here. Yeah, we need two tags. It's not great. Because this core level objects, this is going to be a thing that is persistent between all levels. Let's rename this uh, prefabs. Here, old news. And this is core persistent objects. I don't know if this cube rotate direction transform should be persistent either. I think this is a level specific game object.
We'll call this Whittling Spawn, right? We'll just make another game object. Um, start, end, path, face. I believe that this is the prefab we want. It's in resources, path faces. No, it's not. Oh, just in core resources. Okay, boom, there we go. Let's drop you in there. Yes, that is what we want. Yes, replace. There we go. Okay, cool. So what if I do, um, let's select this cube here. And on the cube core, cube faces. No, that's not what I want. Let's do forward is going to be a start end. Hey, cool. Oh, start is different from end. That's okay. Um, let's put this back to none. Let's make sure everything runs. Uh, spawning still should not work. Cool. Spinning is happy. Cool. Cube manager needs to find. Begin level. And this is the camera offset transform cube controller. No, no, no. This one also needs the start target. Whitling spawn, okay. I'm going to make a new utility script. That seems fair. Find only one of tag.
if um, found.length does not equal one. That was in my camera controller. That means my camera controller, I can get rid of this. And this should yell at me. And here we can ask for the transform. So <clears throat> that makes it a little bit nicer, our cube controller. And that means our cube manager finally. Oh, hey, this is where we're doing our on start level. I believe this should be moved to a level script, right? Yeah. Um, What is that called? Whitling prefab start node. Cool. So a little bit of moving stuff around. Should be okay. Hey, nice suit, looking good. Cool. Excellent, okay. Uh, that means I am going to need a world core persistent objects. Okay, let's save the scene. How's our time doing? Halfway? Ooh, more. Whoa, hey, time's going quickly today. Scenes, main menu. Too many or too few Whitling spawn and scene. That's okay. Okay. Um, so that's not actually where we want to go from. We want to go from here so we can say if can spawn. Right? No need to look for a start node if we can't spawn witlings. That should make it happy. And I believe we're at the point in the world, scene load time, halfway through. We are going to want to change the name of this, right? It's not world scale transition anymore. It's not a good name.
uh, do a whole bunch of renaming and let's rename you here as well oh boy oh boy is this gonna make me have to retype all of my stuff again oh that means our editor as well Oh, type of world transition, that worked. World transition editor. Cool. Eh? Eh. The variable a scene has not been set up. Solid, very solid. Okay, scenes, level 01. So this is where things might get a little bit interesting because we don't want to begin the level or to call begin level functions until this scene is completely loaded and we've completely unloaded the previous scene. Oh, this should also have a don't destroy on load. Load scene async. Um, can we do a callback? Hmm, that would be nice. Do start coroutine as yes, load while it's not done, yield return null. Okay, so we can use a coroutine to wait until that scene is done loading. Let's see what happens. I don't believe that this is going to work. Got our I enumerator load next scene string name. Oops, probably capital N, stick with the coding conventions. Um, this is our name, and this returns a async operation. As op and while as op done equals false 
we'll tell it to wait for each frame. Yield return null. And we're going to unload. Huh, we need to know the name of this scene. Oh, hey, check it out. Scene loaded. Scene unloaded. Unload scene. Do, 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 do. Get active scene. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here, so let's do some testing. Unloading scene. Obsolete. Unload scene async. Let's make sure I only run this once, right? Load scene timer is greater than zero, subtract. Yes, that should only run once. Big money. There are two cube managers in the scene. There should never be more than one random. OK, so here's our core persistent objects. Huh. So this is path node awake. Oh boy, we've got a nice little problem of order of operations on our hands. So there's our camera offset transform. There's our start target. There's our whittling spawn. Right, so these awakes got called before. Awake. Unloading scene main menu. Would it be possible to do this first? Ooh. <laughs> um. Well. Same errors. 
destroying newest. Cool. So level one should not have a core persistent objects. Oh, the tag is core level objects. Going to change that, change that, change that. Whoa, you're not even tagged, buddy. No. Unique ID, core persistent objects. So that's in our main menu. Let's make sure the level got the change. No, it didn't. Dang it. That means that there is a disconnect somewhere. Do 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 do, do prefabs. Too many or too few whittlings spawn in the scene. Really? Ah, right, because the default is that this is on cube controller. No, cube manager cannot spawn. Whoa. That's a lot of errors, collapse. Ah, the camera died. There we go. So we're a little bit closer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, this looks awesome. I have no idea what's going on, but I am quite happy with the result. Okay, so. Um, I think this is a good place to stop. We fixed a couple of things, which I'm happy about. Our camera, our main menu works happily again. Our world transition is shaping up. Um, all we need to do next time is deal with like the awake, awake start order. And I might actually just... Yeah, I believe what I'm going to do is make a level component, maybe. If I recall, these bad boys had a... Uh, with scene manager. Got some events here. Scene unloaded. Active scene changed. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to spend some time sort of thinking about what needs to go here. But I do believe that when that happens, our world transition scale up should work fine. And then we can start getting to work on the stack. <sighs> so... Yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, I'm pretty happy with where we got, and we'll see where we get to tomorrow. Happy episode number 60.